Now, initially, when I bought Fusix Smart Glasses, I thought it's going to be pretty straightforward to mirror image what is shown on my smartphone into my smart glasses. And I was spending a lot of time and I couldn't figure out until recently. And when I managed to figure it out recently, I was jumping with joy and I was actually advertising myself on Twitter on Discord or in my group Facebook as well. And um, now I'm really excited to share this with you. So first thing what you need to do is either use the um, Fusix app, companion app, or you could actually go to your smart glass, Fusix smart glass and download the app called, this is within the smartphone um, world of app, if you see what I mean, called Screencast app. And then at the same time, you also need to download an app on your smartphone that is called the Device Web API Manager. Now, there's a lot of benefit on this sort of working environment. For example, you can see that I attach my Z43 onto my uh, laptop computer monitor. And um, the only time when I actually be able to see what's happening on my uh, smartphone is that I have to tilt my head to left or right wherever I actually attach my C43 onto my computer monitor. But you don't need to do that with the smart glasses, using smart glasses, you just need to slightly nod your eyes to top left and you'll be able to see exactly what's happening on your smartphone. The other benefit is that I don't know whether you noticed on my first review regards to Fusix smart glasses that I found the uh, Fusix smart glasses version of YouTube seems to be not perfectly well operated. In other words, if I were to watch a video clip that is a decent size, especially something like my video, you would experience a buffering. Uh, so I actually was a bit disappointed with that. But if you were to do a mirror imaging with your smartphone by using this special app that seems to be developed in Japan because there's a lot of Japanese wording on it, um, there will be about half a second of delay, but it's doable. It's, it's really good to watch YouTube video, which I do a lot. The other thing that I'm trying to figure out how to use is um, connecting my view smart glasses into my headphone or my earbuds. And I still haven't managed to figure out there is indeed the uh, Bluetooth function to it. But I think the way how it should go eventually is you connect your Bluetooth headphones uh, to be the smart smartphone to be the central point of connection and providing information and by doing the mirror imaging with your um, smartphone this is this immediately Im eliminate this problem of how to set it up with your smart um, glasses because it's basically you're actually telling the smartphone to be the center point of information source in other words you all the sound system you can actually use uh, the headphones by using the smartphone app of mirroring, mirror imaging app and then all the views will be sorted out with your smart glasses. So to start this is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is open up the main page with your smart glasses, music that is again, and um, you need to search for that app that I mentioned early on, which is the screencast app. You click on it and it will ask you to scan a QR code. So um, you go to the actual device web API manager app and you click on the settings page and it will show you the QR code uh, box. So if I show that, it will automatically scan it and ask you to start now. So when I start doing now, I could see the QR code and the main page shown. Now, if I come out of it, I can see all my uh, main smartphone page. So if I were to actually go to my YouTube page here, and then if I were to go to my um, YouTube channel, that's exactly what's happening here. And if I were to play this, let's actually play the latest video. This is Ambernick 8 um, from Heka. So if I play that. Anyhow, so emulator, we got the... Um... Now, this actually follows your rotation of your screen. And so if I were to do that, you get a larger screen. And then if I were to do the maximum screen, that is very much a viewable screen, full screen of my video. And there's a slight buffering, well actually not a buffering, a delay of a screen, but that's really watchable. Yes, I can see a slight delay indeed, but that's actually, um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Now, the other thing I find it interesting when it comes to Z Fold 3 is that if I were to fold my phone, 
all the screen actually becomes taller and narrower exactly the same way how it's actually shown on my front screen but if I were to reopen it up I get the full screen and if I rotate it this app actually shows you exactly the way how the smartphone is shown and it's really cool actually so um, it's not only that let's say if I were to go on to my eToro um, so, like something I don't want to show you guys actually but the main page um, you can see this going on on my stock market if I want to monitor ADA Cardano as a graph that's exactly what I can do and it's it's really useful indeed so you no longer need to put in uh, your well I, I will still do but I don't really need to put in my smartphone technically next to my monitor um, but I could actually put it down but the only condition is that if I want to put it on a view on a full screen I need to actually lay down my uh, Z Fold 3 on the desk um, while I'm charging or not charging so that's that's the only downside of it but I do I do like the appearance of how my C43 is actually attached to my laptop monitor but overall this is how it works and it's pretty cool so now you would imagine that I'm actually working on my computer I can see the screen right in front of me but it doesn't really block my central view until I actually open up so I actually move my eyes um, focus on the top left hand side of my view so I'll be working on my computer typing this and that and then if I want to check something in the middle I could just stare at it and I can see what's happening with ADA Cardano um, the graph this is actually a daily graph um, so it's not making much of a move but that's how you can do it but I guess if you want to reach out to your smartphone there's a bit of a sense that you actually attach it to your um, your monitor because you can then control it but at the same time we actually have a duplicated monitor one next to my computer uh, the hardware and the software of the screen that is actually a, is shown on my smart glasses and this is really cool but at the same time I'm actually getting notification that you you don't really notice from your smartphone but it actually pops down uh, from the top screen of my um, smart glasses so this is really cool now the whole mirror imaging screen of your smartphone it, it also opens up so many different potentials of what you can do with the smart glasses and I'm really excited to make an announcement that I, for my next video I'll be showing how to control um, my smart robot called Vector and um, I hope especially a lot of guys who actually come to my channel uh, watching videos related to my vector robot will also enjoy indeed as well so I hope this video uh, you find it very useful and it's an exciting world ahead of us on the smart glasses industry and I hope this video showed you on what sort of thing we can do at the moment that is available technology wise so if you have any queries please do comment below and thank you very much for watching this video this is LJP Tech all the best bye bye